is up my geeks and freaks big girl geek here with a brand new review and today i'm here to review young justice outsiders episodes 15 and 16. y'all know what time it is it's time Three, for the two, one. <laughs> all right so you know i said in my last young justice outsiders i just was able to catch that first episode here are the remaining two from the set that uh was released last week and the new ep the rest of the next block of three episodes come out i believe tomorrow so i took some notes so episode 15 was entitled leverage and i really really enjoyed this episode we got to see gar it started off with gar on the set of his tv show granny goodness is messing with him she's making him do take after take even though the takes are, are perfect she's just messing with him to keep him on set to make him angry and there's nothing he can do he's in a contract so he can't quit and also if he quits he puts the crew uh the crew's job in danger and they have nothing to do with this they're not about that superhero life so he decides to stay on the show um we see tigress start to uh we get the hint that tigress is you know looking at will in a different type of way which is kind of like maybe developing some feelings for him i mean they live together they're helping raise um cheshire's baby so yeah she's starting to maybe feel some things for him she's getting over wally west and all of that um we meet some new characters at tales which is the center for young teen uh, metahumans um, so we see the young heroes on a mission to, uh, in Russia. Um, we see, uh, Tarva, Geoforce, all of those guys, Halo. Um, they're fighting Gorilla Grodd, Manta, and, uh, Captain Boomerang. And Captain Boomerang says something that triggers, uh, Halo, and she's, like, in a trance, and then she gets killed, but, you know, she comes back to life with one of her powers. And... Oh, it was just so good. Finally, in this, uh, it took the second episode where we got some action, we got some actual fighting when our heroes, and that's what I love about the animation, um, kind of, sort of, more than, like, maybe a TV show, because it's rooted, it's so much you can do in animation, like, they can get hit with a blast and get back up in five seconds and be fine and continue to kick butt. I mean, sometimes they do that on, like, um, in the Arrowverse, like, on Flash or whatever, or Arrow or Supergirl, but I don't know, something about animation, they have, like, a, a wider array of things that they can get away with because it is a cartoon so that fight scene was definitely the highlight of the episode um we get to see live wire windfall uh mist with some new characters um we did get a mention we saw uh, amanda waller and we got a mention of aquaman who used to be who used to be aqualad is now aquaman uh, calls um manta uh captain boomerang and Gorilla Grodd, the Suicide Squad. That was really fun. This was my uh, favorite episode out of the group of three that were released. And then Halo remembers uh, that when she was Gabrielle, she's, she took a bribe and let the assassins in that killed Brian's parents. Okay, so episode 16 was called Illusion of Control. And this is where we see Gar away from the set, away from that team. And he's kind of with the C team, which is um, Static Shock, uh, the new kid Flash, uh, uh, the Beetle, uh, Blue, um, whoever was seen, he had a very heavy storyline in the previous seasons. Now they're kind of like shifted, uh, that it's Thanksgiving. We see Cyborg struggling with some feelings and Bug trying to help him with that. Trying to get him in to, to have a family dinner with Will and Breon and Tigress and, and Tara and all of them. And that's where we see that the Doctor, who I told you guys, if you watch my old videos when, when the season was first premiered, I didn't trust that Doctor. Halo told her that she's remembering things and the doctor called somebody and we don't know who she called. Um, Tigress's mother is very upset that she's back in that life. She sees that both, now we see that both Will and Tigress have feelings for each other because they keep giving each other these side looks, but they're not really saying anything about, you know, to each other about this. Um, we see uh, the kids, the, the, they try to kidnap the kids that they took from the, the center. They, they try to, you know, do a kidnapping, but then the C-team stops them, and we got to see some action from Static Shock and all of them, which, and from Kid Flash, which was really fun, um, but it was just like an okay, just like an okay episode, it wasn't too much, I mean, it was all just like a, a, a filler, a filler episode, I felt like, and it really didn't help with the main plot, except that Beast Boy is struggling with being covert, and he wants to be out in the open with these missions to help other teen metahumans, and he kind of did break the rules, and he talked to the press after the mission, well, it wasn't even a mission after, you know, they got attacked and they won. So I don't know how that's going to go and what the other rest of the team and then the Justice League is going to feel about him doing that. And I really love this show because it's about the kids' sidekicks 
and even though every now and again we'll do, we'll, we will get to see Wonder Woman and Superman and things like that, but I'm really loving this. Um, but like I said, episode 15, Leverage was my favorite out of the three that they released um, last week. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I always can't wait to discuss with you. So um, episode 15, I give an A. Episode 16, I give like a B minus. So that's what I think. Again, please leave a comment. I can't wait to discuss. I love this show. And until next video, I am out of here. Big girl geek out. Peace. Hey, where are you going? You just watched a cool video. Subscribe.